In order to make the process of rendering animations easier and more flexible, a new frame range channel has been added to the Render Animation dialog. Within this channel, users have the ability to define what frames are rendered in a number of ways. By entering a specific frame number, or numbers separated by a comma, specific frames can be rendered. By entering two numbers separated by a hyphen, a range of frames can be defined. And by entering a number followed by three periods, everything after the defined frame will be rendered. Importantly, all of these methods can be combined, giving you complete flexibility. Developed in conjunction with the GLTF export feature, users now have the ability to define a specific GLTF material shader. This allows you to develop shading that will remain consistent between Modo's native renderer, its advanced viewport, and any destination for the file that also supports the GLTF shading model. There are two shading models available, physically based and unlit. Material textures controlling roughness, metallic, normal, colour, occlusion and emissive can be defined utilising Modo's swizzling feature, with the GLTF material acting as a multiplier on those textures. Combined with the GLTF export feature, this gives you a comprehensive level of support for this up-and-coming open-source file format.